Hi there. I just wanted to take a few minutes to show you how we got the number for Paul's recent uh, podcast on the impact of 1% over a 30 year duration. So we navigate to the lifetime investment calculator, scroll down to the calculator itself and make that full screen. Uh, you'll see the default values uh, of the parameters of the right hand side here. So we uh, the strategy that he set up was an S&P 500 strategy first. So you change the strategy to S&P 500 and you can adjust the view to show 40, 50, 60, and 100% stocks. Okay. Uh, we began this in 1970 for 30 years and the starting value was $500,000, okay, with no contributions. And we assumed a withdrawal rate of 4% of the portfolio value starting in year one for 30 years. Okay. So that's the setup. And you can follow along if you wanted to open up uh, and adjust the numbers. You can see here the, the numbers that he cites in the podcast at the bottom. And if you want to see what a uh, 1% difference would make in the strategy, you would type in negative one under the change historical values by field. And now you can see the updated numbers uh, there. We also did this with the four fund US strategy. So at this point, all you'd have to do is flip the strategy over to strategy number five, which is US, the four fund US. And you can see how that plays out over time. Uh, minus 1% historical return. And if you switch that back to zero, then you can see uh, the return based off of the data that uh, or the, the sequence of returns that took place. All right, thank you.